problem and is crying out for a citywide solution. Whether walking or biking his north side neighborhood, Lou Dench feels at risk, saying some residential streets are treated like an expressway. During commuting hours, people come down Hamilton Avenue at 50, 60 miles an hour off that hill. Police do not know who plowed into a father and daughter as they crossed Hamilton at Poland July 28th. 35-year-old Sarah Sweeney died yesterday. On Linwood Avenue in Hyde Park, whoever hit and killed 25-year-old Ryan Malm on August 27th is still out here somewhere. If we could have some kind of enforcement. Judy Lepresti, who runs a bicycle shop in Northside, has this to say about general recklessness on the road. The behavior is getting worse year after year after year. They don't care. They know there's no enforcement. It is the wild, wild west out there. Councilman Mark Jeffries has asked for a comprehensive plan to make streets safer citywide. Right now, the way that we're approaching this challenge is whack-a-mole. He's pressing for an immediate change at crosswalks to give pedestrians three to five seconds lead time to start across. In the wake of more hit and run deaths this summer. I just, I don't know anymore. I'm, I'm at a loss. Walking neighborhoods like this one, though appreciative of the bump out cones, feel vulnerable and want their government to address that in a more meaningful way. We make the news. People hear about this all the time. It doesn't change anyone's behavior. And so uh, what I'd like to see would be really concrete steps to change the behavior of commuters coming through our neighborhood. Concrete steps, and as you heard there, some residents are really at wit's end about this and want more done to force traffic to abide by posted speed limits. Live in Avondale, John London, WLWT News 5. Yeah, John, and speaking of, there's a clamor for more enforcement for speeding and reckless driving violations. Where does that stand? You know, there's a belief, Ashley, that uh, there's just not as much enforcement as there used to be. And that is a big issue, a growing issue in the neighborhoods. Councilman Jeffries says he believes D5 has stepped up its enforcement in College Hill. He expects to get updated numbers at some point. We'll have more information about it. But you hear that more and more. More enforcement is needed. All these neighborhoods that you go into. All right, John London, live for us in Avondale tonight. Thanks so much.